Stone literally looks like rocks. Yeah. I'm very pleased with this one. People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere or on the Internet. My soaps look at Purple Butterfly. Dash soaps.myshopify.com, my blog, Purple Butterfly, dash people.blogspot.com. And today I'm cutting the activated charcoal soap that I'm calling Stone because it looks like a rock. This is the overflow, so these are smaller pieces. Absolutely no scent. <laughs> But I still smell the soaps, whether they have a scent added or not. Yeah. That's how I know some of the soaps smell amazing even when there's no scent. Because I tend to smell them. the overflow um, let me come over here to my scale because I believe the even the small ones are three ounces and over so yeah 3.65 which means if I wanted to sell them as a standard soap I could because all my soaps have to be over three ounces Okay, and that's going to go in my little box so I can package it up. And then we have the big ones. Okay. That looks like that. I already cut them. So, yeah, you do not leave hot process soap uncut past the 24 hour mark because otherwise you'll have a hard solid bar of soap that you can't get a cutter through so yeah I cut them then I let them set up a little bit longer but that's what that looks like that does have a raw soap scent I ain't mad at it I love the smell of raw soap mm -hmm. otherwise known as unscented soap mm -hmm. And, like I said, nothing to see here. They all look exactly alike. <laughs> the only difference, basically, is this one has a little mark right there from my cutter. Which means it's time to replace the um, blade. Because, <laughs> you know... It only makes a mark when the wire is about to snap. Yeah, a little piece of soap right there. Well, this adding character. And then the last of it. That's it. Nothing to see here. Activated charcoal soap either comes out absolutely black or a charcoal gray. And that's what we got there. In the meantime, I'll turn you around for a lather test. Because this soap, when it's wet, look like stone. As my personal piece. Uh, let's turn off this light. Yeah, that might be better for you, see? Ta -da. And when I wash my hands with it, apparently I use the correct proportions because the lather is white, not black, which means it won't stain your washcloth. A lot of times when people use too much um, activated charcoal, 
they end up with a gray or a black lather and that translates to a stain on your washcloth. Now that it's wet, maybe you can see what I see. Hold on, let me turn it back on. But you see how it literally looks like stone. I would wet another bar so you could see exactly what I mean, but yeah. It literally looks like a box. Gotta love that. And it rinses clean. And that's the thing about activated charcoal. It literally rinses clean and there's a slight astringent feel. That's what it does to your face. It gets rid of all those impurities. That light is killing me. <laughs> it gets rid of all those impurities that you would normally get from you wash your face with something that is really oily or whatever. And then you get that smear effect where you have to, you know, really get in there for towel. Because otherwise it feels like, did I put lotion on my skin? Or did it just not wash away clean? This washes away clean. And it has that astringent effect I like. But it's not harsh. It leaves your skin soft. Activated charcoal is some awesome stuff. Every time I make it, I sell out of it. Which is why I don't make it often. Because when it's gone, then I have to immediately make some more. And activated charcoal is a cooked soap. Which requires two hours of standing. And my back is already killing me from yesterday when I made it so yeah <clears throat> so the next time I make some I'm gonna make a double batch oh um, well not a double batch a two-day batch I'll make one on a Friday and then one on a Saturday and then a rest on a Sunday and recoup but yeah I've been overdoing it this week so I have a uh, back spasming thing going on so this is the total batch for now and then the next time I make some I'll make sure I make enough to uh, satisfy supply and demand let's just put it that way this has been people seven on Twitter and YouTube people elsewhere or on the internet my social look at purple butterfly dash soaps dot my shopify dot com my blog purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com and I left it rustic I didn't bother to chop off the top even though it was slightly over the mode I figure if you're gonna look like a stone I'm gonna let you be formed like a stone so it has all those natural divots and stuff that was present from when I plopped it in there look at the video you'll see what I mean but, yeah, very pleased with how that came out. This has been Pipla. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stone literally looks like rocks. This one is three point something ounces, I don't remember. And this one is 5.65 ounces. So, either size is higher than the industry standard which means I could sell them for the industry price which is ten dollars each but these are probably going to be sold as a face because it's a smaller size as opposed to um, body which is a bigger bar if I sell the small ones at all it will be sold for face because yeah, they're smaller, <laughs> and that's easier to hold for washing your face, whereas a body soap, you know, is a big bar, whereas this is a little teeny bar, yeah. This has been Pee